Hi, I'm going to walk you through how to make changes to a camera move in Avid on animated panels that were originally created in Storyboard Pro. In Flix 6.4, camera move keyframes on animated panels that were built in Storyboard Pro are preserved all the way through to Avid and back again. So this means an editor can tweak a camera move that was built in Storyboard Pro by directly manipulating the keyframes in the AAF. In other words, you don't need to rebuild the camera move in the edit. Let's get started. We'll start with how to get the animated panels from Storyboard Pro to Avid. So I have my sequence here with various camera moves on my shots. Most of these shots have standard pans and zooms, but this one has this nice parallax effect here that's been created using layer transforms in Storyboard Pro. And there are some differences in the way these camera moves are handled coming out of Flix, which we'll go through. Here in Flix, go to the Revisions page and click Storyboard Pro Import. Now navigate to your Storyboard Pro project file and click Import. When the Storyboard Pro project is finished importing, a new sequence revision is created and populated with those boards. I don't have any notes or changes at this time, so I'm going to just send it straight on to Editorial. Click Publish to Editorial and under this drop-down menu here, I want to select PNG to 3D Warp. This makes sure that my shots with standard camera moves are bundled in the AAF for Avid with their keyframes intact and accessible through Avid's 3D Warp effect. If I select MOV, that would flatten my shots into a video file. As for my parallax camera move shot, that one will always be sent as a MOV now in 6.4 rather than a still frame. If you do want to make changes to those layers, you can comment on that in Flix and the story artist who has those layers in Storyboard Pro will be able to make those changes. Or your editor could recreate the parallax animation because Flix will also send directly to Avid a reference MOV for these types of animated panels rather than the entire still frame, which is an improvement now in Flix 6.4. Previously, the editor would need a manually created MOV file for reference if they needed to recreate the animation. Click Publish and the AAF is generated. Okay, here in Avid, I'm going to import that AAF and you'll see my sequence and all my boards are brought across there. Here's the shot with the keyframes. Let's see if I can edit them. There we are. Now you can adjust the camera move to your heart's content and send that back to Flix when you're happy. So let's export our sequence back to Flix so we can make sure everyone in the production has the latest version. I'm going to export my AAF and make sure that it is in the codec that we're using in Flix. Back in Flix, let's import that AAF by going to the sequence page, editorial, and then importing it from there. Here's the new sequence from Editorial with my adjusted camera move. Now let's say some changes need to be made to those animated panels, either the standard camera move there or the parallax one. We can send that on to Storyboard Pro again and all those keyframes and layers are still accessible. Click on the Open in Sketching App button to export the sequence back to Storyboard Pro. And back in Storyboard Pro here, the story artist can conform the new sequence here. Here are my camera moves again with all their component layers and keyframes intact. So there you have it, retaining keyframes from Storyboard Pro to Avid and back again. Thanks for watching.